isn't. For example, I was thinking about education, you know, because education feels like, okay, it was bundled for a very long time. So you go to, I don't know, Harvard Law School, and it's just like, oh, you get 25 courses over the next two years. And it's a bundle. You can't really choose. Mm. Well, you can maybe have electives and so on, but it's still a bundle. And then came internet, and then came Udemy, YouTube, blogs, and you could choose a very specific thing and just learn that. Um, so I think now it's like the next stage where maybe, and we can see certain companies in our space kind of, oh, let's be a bundle again. So let's be online, but a bundle. So we're going to go for you a one-year program, and it's going to have all of these courses and with all of these things. So education is maybe ripe for growing from unbundling to bundling online. That's kind of interesting uh, shift. Yeah. You see anything interesting like that? Hmm, that's an interesting one. Actually, honestly, I can't think of one. But this general thing of um, looking out for industries that seem completely unbundled um, and thus have an opportunity for bundling or the other extreme, like feel over bundled and you feel like, okay, I don't have any freedom of choice anymore. Um, these are nice opportunities, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, I Nothing comes to mind, honestly, but I think this framework in general um, is interesting to look at markets um, in, in a way that, hey, here is a uh, an opportunity for combining services or here is an opportunity for going in actually with a completely single product that solves exactly one issue because everything else that you're getting is uh, completely bundled and overdoing stuff. Mm. 